So a few days ago, somebody left a comment on one of my YouTube videos about the gauge visual, asking, is it possible to display not only the value, but also the percentage of the target being tracked as the callout value on the gauge? So I had a think, and actually it is possible. And in this video, I'm going to explain exactly how. Hi, so Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to turn this visual here, which shows the actual value that's been displayed on the gauge here. So that represents this, um, this shaded area here into this visual here, which is going to show not only the value, but also the percentage of the total. Okay, so it's really straightforward to do this. And we're going to use a piece of functionality, which is under this callout value here. And it's called this custom labels. Okay, so we're going to switch that on. I'm going to show you how you can set that up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually go and create a measure that is going to calculate a string that goes in here. Because we're going to add a measure in here. And that measure is going to replace this callout value, which is taken from the field that is added here. Okay, so the field that is added natively to this gauge visual is this one here, production unit year to date total. Now, what you can do is you can add that value, but you can overwrite the actual label that's displayed by adding a, an, a, an additional measure into this field here. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to actually go and create the measure that you want to display in this field. And it's really straightforward. So for us, what we're going to do is we're going to put together this measure here and it needs to be a string. Okay, so you do need to use these format this format function to format the value to be displayed in the way that you want it displayed. Okay, so do you want it to be a percentage? Do you want it to be a number? Do you want it to be rounded to um, to millions like we're going to show here? And that is, um, that's really the only tricky part that is. So in this one here, we want to take this value here and this value, if, as we can see in this table here, is in millions. Okay, it's in millions, but we actually want to round the value to just a, a million to two decimal places and then, and then put an M at the end of it because this is too big a value to add in here, especially when it gets up to the total here. Now, it does this nicely with the visual here and you can set the, the rounding and the decimal places, etc. But because we're sticking this in as a value coming straight from the measure here, then we do need to make sure that the format string deals with that um, formatting of how you want it to look. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value and I'm going to divide it by a million. And I'm going to use this string here to display it as basically as, as to zero decimal places. That, that's what that does. I'll leave a link below to a resource that explains what these what this format function does. But that's going to display it to one decimal place. And then I'm going to append an M to the end of it. And then we're going to put a pipe in between that value that's going to be the same value as this, essentially, probably to one decimal place, actually, rather than unrounded. And then we're going to show this other measure here, which is the production unit percentage of end of your target. OK, so all I've done here is create another measure here that calculates the this as a percentage of this value here, the end of your target. So I'm really not going to go into the, the calculation of the visuals or whatever. This will be available for you to download and you can go and actually look at them yourself. I'm just going to go into configuring the visual of this on, in this particular video. So let's go and we will click on this visual again. And then I'm going to switch on this custom label. And then we're going to go and get this one here. So year to date, total plus percentage. Okay, and we can see it's updated here. So if we switch that off, it goes back. And if I switch it on, it goes to this total here. Okay, so we've got 21.2 million, and then we've got that as a percentage of the actual total there. Okay, so really straightforward. Now, if that's all you're interested in, then great. But I'm also going to cover another couple of little hints and tips here that are going to allow us to add some additional information to this visual. Okay, so we've also got a value here that shows us the target year to date. Okay, so this is shown as the, this is conditionally formatted to basically be color coded if the target year to date, if it's below the target year to date. Now, it's not clear what that target year to date is, and we might want to actually show the percentage as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some additional functionality to dynamically create a subtitle that's going to show us that information. Okay, so let's first of all switch the subtitle on. So we're going to go under title, and we're going to go to subtitle. And we can see we've got a subtitle there. Now I just want to format the title to the side, and then I want to switch this divided on. Um, I'll make it slightly lighter and I'm also going to ignore the padding. 
Okay, so it just lines up this with this here and this here, so it's all nicely lined up. And then I'm going to go and add a little bit of visual padding. So I like that to be 5, and I like this one to be 10. Just seems to work to give it a little bit of extra breathing space there. Okay, so we've got this subtitle here that we're going to use to dynamically enter some additional information related to the progress year to date. So I've created this measure here, which is production versus target summary. And there's a lot going on here, but I'll just talk you through it very quickly. So again, it, the, the output of this measure is a string. Okay, a dynamically created string that's got measures embedded into it. So the first thing is year-to-date target, and we're going to put the year-to-date target in here. We're going to divide it by a million, and then we're going to basically um, make it one decimal place and then append a million to the end of that. Then we're going to go and we're going to get the difference. Now the difference is going to be this measure here that I've already calculated. So it's a difference between the year-to-date target and the year-to-date value. And then we're going to get the absolute value of that difference because we, we need to use that in a second. Then we're going to get a sign here. So if the difference is less than zero, it's going to be a, a minus. If it's greater than zero, it's going to be a plus. So that's going to allow us to basically add that to the string to say, is the value below the target or is the value above the target? Now, if it's below the target, it will get us a, a minus anyway, but we wanted to have that plus if it's above the target as well. Then we're going to get a percentage of target. So that's fairly straightforward. We've already done that production unit as a percentage of the year-to-date target. So we've got a measure here that does that. And then we're going to go and start to build up this string. Now, the other bit that we've got in here is, well, first of all, we'll start off with the sign prefix. So is it plus or minus? And then in here, we've got the this little if statement here. And the reason we've got that is because the variance from the target could potentially be different orders of magnitude, okay? So we want it to basically be scaled. If it's less than a thousand, we just want the value displayed. If it's greater than a thousand, we want to divide it by a thousand so we can get to that two decimal places. And if it's greater than a million, we want to divide it by a million and round it to two decimal places. So we've got, and then append an M after it. So that's all that piece of, um, piece of code there is doing. And then we're going to finish it off with the percentage of target and then of year-to-date target. Okay, so all of this you'll see in a second is going to come together to give us a summary against the year-to-date target. So I'm going to go to the subtitle here and then I'm going to click on this FX button here. And then I'm going to search for the text and I've prefixed it with text so that it's easy to find. And then we can see here, year-to-date target is 21.7 million, difference is minus 452.3 thousand. That's 72.9. That's 97.9 percent .9 of the year-to-date target. Okay, so that just this gives us the the total target for the year, and this gives us the year-to-date target. Okay, so the one thing that's not possible is to actually add a custom label here, um, which is unfortunate. But you've certainly got it there. So we'll just update this to make it a little bit more representative of what's been shown here. And I'm sure there's other things we can do with the format and stuff, but I, the, hopefully you get the, the gist of this and the, the concept here. So if you liked this video and you found it useful, it's always appreciated if you could give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I tend to release one every, every couple of weeks, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I publish a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.